In this video, let us see how to write the Verilog code for 2 to 4 decoder. You can also call it as 2 cross 4 decoder, which contains n inputs and 2 power n outputs. So here, a1 and a0 are the two inputs, for which we get four outputs, which are y0, y1, y2, and y3. Here, each stands for enable pin. So whenever enable pin is high, then only this particular inputs from a1 and a0 will be taken into the pick. So for this, let us try to write the Verilog code in order to write open Xilinx IAC design suite 14.7 and that click on file click on new project here we need to give the name of our project which is decoder 2 cross 4 so this is the name which I'm giving for my project decoder 2 cross 4 and a location in e drive fix to some DHDV lab execution and that a folder will be created by the name decoder 2 cross 4 and top level source type is HGL which is hardware description language click on next next and finish so a blank project is created by the name decoder 2 cross 4 now right click on this new source choose Verilog module here we have to give the file name which is decoder 2 cross 4 the same name I'm following decoder 2 cross 4 is the module name click on next next and finish now here we need to type our code which is nothing but a source code so module module name port list if you observe here output is y input is a input is enable so we have to write like this y comma a comma en en stands for enable or else you can write as simply e also anything is fine y is output a is input and en is nothing but enable pin next comes port declaration so among y a and en which one is output and which one is input we need to declare it here if you observe output which is y0 y1 y2 and y3 it is of size 4 bit so we need to go for vector way of declaration so output 3 down to 0 y indicates that y of 0 y of 1 y of 2 and y of 3 next similarly input two inputs are there so vector way of declaration we need to give which is 1 down to 0 a it indicates that a of 0 and a of 1 next input is enabled so here i am following a style called as behavioral modeling in behavioral modeling, always output should be declared as register. So REG stands for register 3 down to 0 output Y output should be declared as register. Next in behavioral style of modeling, we need to write like this always at the rate always at the rate a comma en it indicates that whenever there are changes in the values of a and en the following block of code should get executed so always at the rate a and en we need to write our logic here if enable is equal to zero so here single equal to is nothing but assigning here we need to give two equalities if enable is equal to zero output will be zero why because if you are not giving the enable signal high even though if you apply any kind of input output will be low only it means it will be zero so y is equal to one take b zero so if enable is equal to zero output is zero else here we need to use case statement why because if a naught and a1 are there we get four different combinations so case a so we get four combinations which is zero 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 one one zero and one one so we need to write like this in the format two tick binary 00, zero colon so whenever input is 00, zero means whenever a1 is 0 and a0 is equal to 0 we need to write the output so output y is of size 4 bit so whenever a1 is 0 and a0 is 0 y0 will get activated and the remaining will be low means you need to make y0 as 1 remaining y1 y2 and y3 will be zeros so as it is of size 4 bit so it is 4 take binary 0, 0, 0, 1. next suppose if input is 2 tick binary 0 1 output so for 0 1 y1 will be activated so 4 tick binary 0 0 1 0 next similarly 2 tick binary 1 0 output y is equal to whenever a1 is 1 and a0 is 0 y2 should get activated means y2 should be 1 remaining everything should be 0 so it will be 4 tick binary 0 1 0 0 next for 2 tick binary 1 1 output y is equal to 4 tick binary 1 triple 0 so if you observe here for 0 0 y not is getting activated for 0 1 y 1 will be activated means it will be in high state for 1 0 y 2 is high for 1 1 
y3 is high and here we need to mention one more thing which is default default value for y is one tick b x so if you observe here two tick binary means here the zero zero is nothing but it is in the format of binary here the two indicates the size as there are two bits so it is two here if you observe zero 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 one so four bits are there so that's the reason i'm writing here as four and here b stands for binary now if you observe here it is one why because only single value is there so if you observe here x x is nothing but unknown value so whenever there is a case there should be end case and whenever there is a module there should be end module so this is the code for decoder 2 cross 4 which contains two inputs and four outputs so i'm following behavioral level modeling in order to write this particular piece of code in behavioral modeling output should always be declared as register now click on control s to save double click on synthesis xht so process synthesis completed successfully so there are no errors and no warnings so elaborate this synthesis click on view rtl schematic click on ok so this is a module for decoder 2 cross 4 which contains two inputs that is a and a enable here a 1 down to 0 indicates is of size 2 bit and here y 3 down to 0 indicates here output y is of size 4 bit double click to view the internals similarly view technology schematic click on ok so here this is a technology schematic for decoder 2 cross 4 i buff stands for input buffer o buff is output buffer lut is lookup table so once we are done with writing the source code we need to test whether our module is working fine or not so for that we need to write the test bench now again right click new source choose verilog text fixture here let us give the name to our test bench so decoder 2 cross 4 underscore tb tb stands for test bench click on next next and finish so it contains module some name inputs are always treated as registers outputs are treated as wires and this is a unit under test and our main thing is between this initial begin and end we need to give our test vectors test vectors are nothing but the values we need to take it from the truth table and we need to apply it here so before uh, making changes here let us check our truth table so if you observe the truth table of 2 cross 4 decoder it contains two inputs which are a1 and a0 and four outputs are y0 y1 y2 and y3 and this is nothing but enable pin which is used to either enable or disable if enable is equal to zero even though if you apply any value at a1 and a0 outputs will be zeros only here xx indicates don't cares which is nothing but 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Even though if you apply any kind of input, when enable is equal to 0, it is waste of use. Why? Because output will be 0 only. Now I am enabling the enable pin by putting 1. And let us try to apply the inputs as 0, 0. If inputs are 0, 0, it indicates the equivalent 0. So y not will get activated. So here you need to assume that the equivalent for y not is 0, equivalent for y1 is 1, for y2 equivalent is 2, and for y3 equivalent is 3. So for 0, 0, this particular y0 will be activated. For 0, 1, which is nothing but 1, so y1 will be activated. For 1, 0, which is nothing but 2, so y2 will be activated. And for 1, 1, which is 3, so y3 will be activated. So the same thing we can give it in the form of test vectors. So let us make the changes here. Or else instead of writing individually, there is one shortcut way of writing this one. So initial begin, a is equal to 0, e is equal to 0. So here directly I'll write always some delay, always after 5 nanoseconds of delay, A will be A plus 1. Next, always hash 20, enable is equal to enable plus 1. Save it. If you want to see the result in console window, add dollar monitor statement here. So dollar monitor, dollar time. So I want to monitor the changes in the values of inputs. So here inputs are nothing but A and EN. So I want output to be printed. So I want Y is equal to percentile B, A is equal to percentile B, enable is equal to percentile B. So here Y comma A comma enable. So dollar monitor will monitor the continuous changes in the values. Dollar time is used to print the simulation time. So now click on save here in the design window, click on simulation, click on decoder two cross four TB, elaborate ISM simulator, double click on behavioral check syntax. 
double click on simulate behavioral model so i got some waveform so let us check here click on zoom to full view and arrange it properly so i want first enable after that input a and after that output is y if you want you can elaborate this a and y now let us see when enable is equal to zero even though if you apply any input at a output will obviously be zero so that's what we can see it here the same thing is applicable here also enable is equal to zero so even though if you apply anything output will be zero here also same thing here also same thing now when enable is equal to one our actual circuit starts working now if enable pin is equal to one and if you observe you are applying the input at a as zero zero when you are applying input as zero zero output should be y not means y not should get activated it should be one so y not so this is nothing but y of zero is one remaining everything is zero next if you are applying zero one if you are applying zero one y one will get activated so y one is activated for one zero which is nothing but two y two will be activated and for one one which is nothing but three y three will be activated the same result you can see it here in the console window so let me copy this to the notepad i'm pasting it here the same result you can wait here for zero zero all are zeros why because here enable pin is equal to zero so whenever enable pin is equal to zero even though if you apply any input at a output will be zeros only our actual working starts when enable is equal to one so for zero zero equivalent y zero should get activated zero one is nothing but y one so y one is activated one zero is nothing but two so y two got activated one one is nothing but three so y three got activated so the same result which we have seen in the truth table you can see it here in the console window followed by the waveform you can observe the same thing here when enable is equal to zero even though if you apply anything at the input like zero 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 one and one zero one one output is by default zero now whenever you are activating it by means of enable pin and if you start applying zero 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 one one zero and one one the corresponding output you can see zero zero is nothing but y zero is activated zero one is y one one zero is y two one one is y three so this is how you need to write the verilog code for two cross four decoder in behavioral style of modeling